of entrepreneurs has combined flight, physics, and technology to come up with a cutting-edge way to disinfect large spaces. The company believes this new method could potentially get us back to life as we once knew it. And it is being done here in western Pennsylvania. Royce Jones explains how this technology works. Yeah, it's all being done with a drone created by the Aris Fog Company headquartered in Wexford. The company says that the drone has enough power to sanitize parks, concert venues, and stadiums the size of Heinz Field in just under three hours. If this wasn't something that was going to go away in a short period of time, there needs to be a solution to get people back to the things that they enjoy doing. Aris Fog co-founders Nick Bruker and Justin Melunson may have the solution. A 50-pound MG1S drone with the ability to spray disinfectant up to 20 acres an hour and have people occupying that space within three minutes. Is there's no room for error, you know, like human error could be an issue where somebody might miss something. This drone doesn't miss anything. The drone is similar to those used for fertilizing crop fields. It's totally a and uses electrostatic technology, charging the disinfectant as it passes through the spray tubes. Aris Fogg says that gives disinfectant enough sticking power to fully coat surfaces and hard to hit areas like bottoms of seats and handles. It has a flight path and it just goes, does its own thing. When it runs low on fluid, it'll alert me, it'll come back and land. I'll put more fluid in it, it flies right back to where it stops spraying, it starts spraying again. This technology is typically powered by handheld foggers and backpack sprayers. Aris Fog is designing similar products to be used inside schools and working on a partnership to use FDA and EPA approved disinfectant that protects against COVID-19 up to 90 days. I mean, if we could save a life, you know, 10, 20, 100 lives, I'm just saying this is, you know, this is going to be a very good thing for, you know, everybody right now. The company is currently waiting on FAA approval to actually be able to spray the disinfectant from this drone. And once they have that, the company says they'll then partner with another company to use CDC approved disinfectant to make this whole process work. I'm Royce Jones, KDKA News.